Welcome artists! In this video you're going to learn how to make a watercolor Easter egg. The materials you'll need are a pencil and eraser, white paper, preferably watercolor paper, a sharpie, markers, a large Ziploc bag or tin foil, a spray bottle, construction paper, scissors, and a glue stick. The elements of art that we will use in this video are lime, shape, and color. Your I can statement is I can create a unique Easter egg using the elements of art, line, shape, and color. Let's begin turning our markers into watercolor. First you're going to grab your Ziploc bag and some markers or a piece of tin foil. We're going to want to cover the entire surface of either that Ziploc bag or a tin foil. You can color with whatever colors and whatever patterns that you like. I'm just going to cover the surface in some stripes, starting from the top and working my way down. Once you're done coloring the Ziploc bags, you are ready to turn it into paint. So simply grab your squirt bottle, give it a couple sprays, and voila. Grab your piece of paper, firmly press down onto that Ziploc bag, spreading your hands out so that that pigment can fully soak into the paper. Once you're finished, you're going to grab your piece of paper and just slowly peel it back, revealing a beautiful painted colored paper. Now you are ready to create a one-of-a-kind Easter egg. So I'm going to start with my pencil and just draw a big curved line all the way around my left hand side of the paper. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the right hand side where it comes to a little bit of a point at the top for my egg shape. Once I finished sketching out the shape and size of the egg desired, I will go ahead and grab my Sharpie and trace that line. Then it's up to you as an artist to create any design inside of the Easter egg that you would like. Today I'm not going to give a particular demonstration or tutorial on how to design your egg, as you are the artist and I want you to create an egg as unique as you. I'm going to begin by creating a floral motif inside of my egg, but again, like I said prior, you are the artist, so create any kind of Easter egg with your knowledge of elements of art, so line, shape, pattern, and color that you would like. I'm going to keep mine simple with this flower motif and only using my pencil to sketch in my drawing and then trace my drawing with my Sharpie. Once I'm done with my design, you can cut out your Easter egg and then glue it on top of any colored construction paper you might have. 
In this case, I liked to use some scrap pieces and layer the background, but that is really up to you again as the artist. Maybe you want to just choose one solid color, and that is totally fine. Maybe you don't even want to cut it out and you want to leave it on your painted paper. Again, these are all decisions as the artist that you can make. Thank you.